So what's the price tag for Ivan Tony? £100 million? Pounds? Would that be fair? He has made an impact. He's been a great player for Brentford. There's a possibility of a move, in my opinion, this summer, but it would take a decent sum of money to prize Ivan Tony away from, from Brentford. £100 million is fair. £100 million. I think that's fair. Reason B, if you look at Jack Grealish, he cost £100 million from Aston Villa, right? Strikers are a premium. You always pay more for strikers because of what they do. And you get an English premium added on to that as well. So with all those combined, you're looking at £100 million. If you look at the best stats for an English striker, he's just shy behind Harry Kane. So he is England's number two. Where does he go? Because you mentioned Harry Kane there. And I've got to say for me, if there is to be one place that Ivan Tony can reasonably go, it's if Harry Kane is to be replaced, if he ends up leaving Tottenham Hotspur, I'd have Ivan Tony towards yeah. the top of my list. The main reason being, you know, I, I get it. The goal scoring ability of Kane is on a different level to most strikers in world football. But the creative element of Ivan Tony's game could lend itself very well to the game at Spurs under Pochettino. He's, he's similar to, to Harry Kane himself. Harry Kane is great assist. He's, he's attributing to contributing to goals. He's fantastic. Goal scoring record, amazing. And and I even told he's not shy of that. So I think if, if Harry Kane was to leave in the summer to, to the big club, then I think a perfect fit would be Ivan Tony. Without a shadow of edit out. Could be an interesting one to keep an eye on this season, Ivan Tony's future. Um, but listen, as we mentioned, Harry Kane there, we mentioned the possibility of Tony at Spurs. Let's talk about a little news that came out earlier on concerning Tottenham Hotspur. The former Bayern Munich boss, Julian Nagelsmann, will not be their next manager. In fact, the latest suggestion to come through uh, in terms of our Eurovision managers is, I need a dollar, a dollar is all I need. And that says for every Spurs manager. Every Spurs manager. So there you go. It's not going to be Nagelsmann. He he needs a little bit more, uh, if you like. Spurs, sixth in the Premier League. Haven't had a permanent manager since Antonio Conte sacked in March. Of course, Ryan Mason uh, in charge at the moment. But this indecision over what is happening next at Spurs could cost them another season next year. Yeah, it's, it's baffling. It's crazy to think, really, that at one stage, it was all over the back pages that he's front runner to be the next Spurs manager. He's having talks and now... They're saying he's not the right manager. He's not the right fit. You know, when you when you mention Spurs right now, when people mention Spurs to me, all I think and all I can hear is <laughs> it's a, it's like a circus at the minute around there, and just, you know, from top to bottom. So but yeah, that was circus music for anyone yeah, who's confused. Anyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's what I, I think of Spurs and who. If not Nagelsmann, who are they going to get? Who's out there who's got a, a good pedigree, who can win trophies, who can take them to the next level? The big manager all taken. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens next. We were talking about expectation a little bit earlier on for next season. We didn't talk about Spurs too much. The question was, for those of you who've just tuned in, you know, what does a club need to do to make themselves challengers, if you like? Uh, credible, serious challengers in the Premier League next season. And for Tottenham Hotspur, I think there are so many things that need to happen for them to get close to it. Maybe not next season, season after that, or the season after that. And I know some texters were saying the same thing. You know, Tottenham are so far off it yeah. that it's going to take a long time for them to be credible challengers. Um, I, I do think it can happen quickly. I think Arsenal have shown us it can happen a lot quicker. If you have a, a plan, if you have a strategy, if you have a good coach in charge, it doesn't seem like they've got any of those things right now Tottenham but they've had three good coaches Conte Marino Poch I don't, I they're not bad coaches I, I, they, they... I disagree in terms of them being good coaches for Spurs they are good coaches and but it, it, every player League every, title, every coach League winners, they, no but listen every player and every coach needs the right situation you know you, you'll know that from your time playing right not yeah. every coach wanted a player with your abilities to play on the right hand side the b best times in your career when you were playing were the managers that wanted a player just like you to fit their style and I think Tottenham chose managers that didn't fit the style of that football club in terms of the football that fans expect um, and, and have done for so many decades those managers were never going to bring that there was always going to be a lack of 
cohesion and togetherness when it comes to the football. I think the Tottenham fans, many of them had been fed up of not winning and some were prepared to forgo the style of football if it was going to bring success. And obviously, Daniel Levy was of the same mindset. All of that has to have been proven wrong. But getting a manager is not going to just fix overnight. If you get in a manager, you need that manager to say, right, I need this player, that player, this player, that player for this style of play, for my philosophy, the way I want my team to work. I need the funding, I need the investment to go out and get these players for us to progress. It's no point getting in a top manager and still having deadwood players, having the players that can't produce what you want to do as a coach, what your style is. If you want your players to be pressing, you need energy. If you haven't got that, then that press is gone. You, you, your philosophy is gone and you're just a broken team. It's a team full of don't know, with no idea. And that's what Spurs are now. So getting in a good manager is not going to, you know, fix the ship. They need a manager. Then they need to be able to, that manager, choose his players to feel fit the way, the style he wants to play. I, I do think one of their issues is going to be investment. Levy doesn't want to spend. So the, the, It's not the, necessarily the, that Daniel Levy circle, doesn't want to spend. It's, yeah, it's, it's not that he doesn't want to spend. <sighs> It's that they've spent so much money, the outlay, the infrastructure, the stadium. I know fans will be bored of hearing it, Mate. but they have spent a lot of money. They've taken up, what, £150 million from the Bank of England after that period of time. Well, it's no good having a I, fantastic I, stadium and then playing rubbish football and getting beat here and there and not challenging for anything. What for? Just have your great stadium in your trophy cabinet beer. That looks great in there. What a stadium, but, but your cabinet's empty. This is my point. In terms of expectation... I think all of us need to change what we think about the capabilities of Spurs next season. To be perfectly honest, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll likely keep Son. They'll probably lose Harry Kane. They'll be starting if again. If they do, that's a massive problem for them. If they lose Harry Kane, I think we're looking at a team that should be aiming for the top seven, really. I don't I see them. Top ten. Top ten. If they lose Harry Kane, they're a team that needs to just concentrate on getting in the top half of the table. I, I, I'm stunned by that to be honest yeah I think Harry Kane does so much for that team they've had a bad season they've won 17 games and I would say 75% of their goals have come from Harry Kane without Harry Kane they would be struggling without Harry Kane they'll be fighting for top 10 uh, again I think Tottenham fans will have to change their expectations so I agree oh, absolutely. with you I agree with you on that. I just think Kane, if they can replace him with just an able striker, they are going to have to do a lot of recruitment elsewhere in the team. There's issues in defence, clearly, and the midfield. So there's, <laughs> there are a lot of changes So just needed. imagine that, and then with our Harry Kane. But I think I do think that this is the summer they need to do something. They're going to have yeah, a new a they're going to have a new manager in, and they're going to have to be serious about. Firstly, some of the loan players need to come back, and I think they need to be very shrewd with their recruitment. They need to choose young players for the future and that means that maybe next season we're not looking at a team that's going to be going for the Champions League or for any trophies possibly but one that can very quickly do that afterwards and I think sad for it is for Tottenham fans to hear you look at Arsenal as a model and you you need to kind of follow that mould The Sports Bar Weekender Decisive Football Radio Friday nights from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport